Spoon, your action figure aficionado here, showing you a little uh, something else in my collection, as I have here uh, 3D printed versions of uh, two previously unreleased, or still actually technically currently unreleased, Thundercat figures. Quick Jaws and Cannon Blaster. These particular 3D print jobs were done by Repro Bubbles Customs, and I uh, did buy them fully painted, so I didn't paint them myself, acquiring the the art piece basically to what it is it is that's what these are these are works of art and should be treated as such they go to great lengths trying to provide action features uh, as closely resembling what would have been if you're a diehard thundercat fan you know these figures to at least some degree they were mocked up in prototype form and uh they even had some uh, shots done to, for promotional catalogs and stuff like that. So those pictures of them are infamous. And uh, they were meant to be part of an expansion to the Berserkers line. These characters, I believe, were basically just... I don't know if you want to call it kit bashing or if there was some, some other method to designing them. But I believe that it was internal at LJN... Right here we have Quick Jaws, as painted by the guys over at Repro Bubbles, and he does have, as you can see, movable parts that were three D printed, and they're just basically like a, a kit that you can you can buy unpainted and piece it together yourself, stuff like that. Working hinges, and yes, this arm does move because it was inserted in there. You have his lever here for his feature. And with most 3D printers, you are going to run into some where you see some of the print lines on them, but I don't think it really detracts from the figure all that much. Like I said, these are to be treated as more pieces of art just to put on display. Maybe you have a little bit of functionality, but definitely not something you want your kids to grow and playing with. All right, and to mimic the feature he was supposed to have with these hinges here, his chest would open up and he'd be able to hold onto these little handles here. That's what it's supposed to look like he can hold them in place. So I basically slide the arm up a bit, put that back, and he can just grip them. And then using his shoulder pad there, you can go through and try to go like this, but here. It's a very tight fit. I'm trying to be careful goes out that far it hits this won't push out any further hard to show that but uh, here's a good view this peg is a peg all in itself and basically will attach right behind the head it, it'll hold the head up but as you can see the head is on been screwed in there's multi joints in there that can screw that that head in but if you don't prop them up there over time that could hell uh kind of wear down a little bit but he's very close to the prototypes that you see pictured and stuff like that from the catalogs i i, I love having him on display in my collection here we have Cannon Blaster. Now, this little guy, very unique design, as this is the character himself. Little feet, all printed in there and painted up. Now, this one's not as close to the pictures that I've seen online, whereas, uh, but they do have little 
little rods in here that do give this arm some mobility. Although, um, it in many of the pictures I've seen, it appears that this would have a dual joint right here. So it's printed out just so that way it's all one. Much as this arm here, I believe had a larger fin on it in pictures and I would assume that well although this one moves quite nice I would assume that the hand and I might even try to make these little customize these up a little bit more myself carefully of course to give them a little bit more uh, functionality in the action feature department but that's at my own discretion because I would probably take the hand and somehow make it so that way it could swivel because I think the purpose of the hand was this guy would blow out the top cannon blaster and when he would land you were supposed to try and catch him with the hand that's at least what I assume now here's a good uh, see they just you just pop them in there so uh, great paint job done here. Just give me a close. Like I said, this one's not as close as Quick Jaws to the prototype pictures, but it's more than LJN actually gave us, so it's nice to have it in, in the collection. They even went to this little touch here where it, they made it look like it was basically a cap shooter that would pop him out here. There was something in the pictures that is noticeable. Don't know if it was a cap shooter, but there was something there. Even to the point where uh, this could probably be removed. You could try to do some sort of air pump or drill hole in there, because it is only plastic. A spring launcher, anything like that to try and give him his feature if you really wanted to. And here, just to give you an idea of how these guys mesh with the pre-existing berserkers in the collection. I have Top Spinner and Rambam joining in on the fun. Honestly, they they display beautifully together. I, I do intend to continue uh, talking with the guys over at Repro Bubbles in the future for further items to help make my com collection look complete, so to speak. I spoon. Your action figure aficionado, keeping it mint.